This is Roger with Wheel Kinetics in Tucson, Arizona. We're selling this truck as a 2005 Ford F-250 Crew Cab Short Bed. It's a 6.0 turbo diesel. It's four-wheel drive. It's an XLT, which is cloth. Uh, short bed. Um, has 170,977 actual miles. It was a theft recovery purchased directly from an insurance company in Sun Valley, California. Very nice truck. Uh, we bring him here. We do an inspection. Uh, my guys hand me this super nice truck runs and drives great. We put brand new tires on it at discount tires um, It got a detail uh, The it has a new louver tailgate the original was stolen It wasn't on the truck when it got here or when we bought it um, Driver door handle lock cylinder and ignition were re uh, replaced. They were broken when they were stolen um, Tires I just told you that and the ficken board the FIC and the fuel injection control module board is new um I'm gonna walk around. I'll point at stuff you might want to look at closer in the uh, photo gallery, and we'll go on a ride. Uh, at some point in this video, I'll show you the Carfax, the Kelly Blue Book, the title uh, that we got from the insurance company. Everything that we know, you will know about the vehicle. Uh, apparently, at some point, it had uh, moldings on it, and they took them off. I think it looks better with them off. But there's a little bit of residual. You can always buy those chrome rocker moldings that do the whole bottom of the truck if you want that covered up. Um, brand new tires, like I said, these are literally a couple hours old on this truck. Um, it's got the kind of bubbling chrome thing on these, so you can buy an aftermarket grill for like 60 bucks if you care. Um, most people really don't care about that stuff on a truck, they want to have a diesel truck for other things than, than appearances. It would appear that whoever owned this thing took pretty good care of it. Um, see the moldings that used to be there? You see that line there? You can buy those those chrome rocker moldings on Amazon for like 150 bucks. They just basically 3M tape on and they cover that stuff up if you want. Um, we could have done that, but there's really no point in it. Uh, just let you see how it was when we got it, right? And there's the tailgate. That's the Luber tailgate we purchased. We had a couple trucks come in that were theft recoveries this week that didn't have tailgates because that's the first thing to go when you steal them. So that's a brand new Luber tailgate. It's been raining so much here. All this mud and everything. My brother's got to take pictures of this thing next. <laughs> that ought to be good entertainment. I'll have to wash it again before he takes pictures. Um, let's see. All right. Fire this guy up. Glare here. 170,979 miles. All right, let's go into the hood. We're looking for uh, Ford stamps on both sides of the, uh, on both sides on both fenders and on both sides the core support, which would indicate their original part. Here's the Ford uh, fender here, Ford stamp there. That's the original. We did put a new batteries in this thing too. I forgot about that. New battery on each side. Those are brand new batteries. Ford stamp here. Cat sticker where it belongs. Ford stamp here. Take off the uh, oil cap. Very little blow by that is excellent on a one to ten. That'd be a solid ten And there's the stamp for the uh, Ford uh, stamp on the hood. So everything up here is original got almost no blow by new batteries new ficken board Window up and down This is a pretty high level uh, XLT because it's got power seats back forward up down Tilt up, down, up, down. Let's see. Kelly Blue Book for an XLT05 short bed, 170,977 miles. Typical listing price would be 15.4 with a range, fair market range of 12.6 to 16.3. So there's your Kelly Blue Book. Okay. Then Kelly uh, Blue Book and Carfax get together and they do a history based value. Uh, Carfax says there's the VIN, four-wheel drive, diesel, 
the uh, history and events affecting this vehicle's value. They say that you combine the, the theft with the uh, uh, vandalism, the lock cylinders and stuff, you end up with 13740 So it's a little bit less than regular book for this vehicle. Um, total loss is not a salvage title. It means that the insurance company paid a total loss. You will never see a salvage title in this vehicle's, in this vehicle's history. This is, represents what the insurance companies do when they pay off a victim of total loss, okay? So it's born in Bakersfield. Being serviced nicely, right? Ba -ba -ba. Let's see. Stolen 319 of 18, recovered 519, 19, 519 of 19. Uh, report stolen, recovered, there you go. Here is the uh, title that we were given. This is a clear California title. There's the VIN. Safeco uh, was the insurance company with 170,977 miles. They signed it over to Wheel Kinetics on November 29th, 2019. Okay, there you go. Here's your seat. Boom. Seats are a little damp. It just came back from detail like a couple of minutes ago. And uh, they steamed it pretty good. There's some manuals there. They really went to town on the back seat. I have to leave the windows down. Which means I'm about to get a wet butt. It smells good though. Nice and clean. Stamp where it belongs. Window, 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 window. Let's see, door locks. There you go. Mirror out, in, up, down. Other side out, in, up, and down. Seat forward back up down tilt up and down up and down that looks fine let's see i'm going to be sitting on that because i don't feel like getting a wet butt adjustable pedals up and down tilt wheel this thing was a loaded up XLT. He must have not like leather. Cause it's got the, uh, it's got the uh, steering controls. Now, obviously it's got an aftermarket radio, which I don't know how to use really, other than I have no idea how to use this thing. Huh, anyway, it is what it is. We don't, uh, we don't deal with radios. Uh, whenever they're stolen or they don't work, we just, you know, tell people get your own because you can buy them. You can buy a twin for this thing at Best Buy for 200 bucks installed with Bluetooth and everything. So you might as well get what you want. And uh, that's what we do. All right. That's that. So it is blowing cold. Turn that down. All the trailer stuff. Let's see. You can see that. I got it on tow on right there. See it? And I'll turn it off. Now it's off, right? All right, neutral. We're gonna go to four low. I don't know if you can see that or not down there, but you are in four low now. And go to drive. Hopefully I can beat this gate here. There we go. Get to the eye before I get to it. That is definitely four low, man. That is granny gear out the gate there. 
and then reverse and four low. Perfect. Neutral, go to four high. Low range goes away. Drive and reverse. Perfect. This thing runs great. Really quick in and out of four wheel drive. Now we're in two wheel drive. We'll go for a ride. All right. This truck, um, if you come to Tucson and drive it home, it's a beautiful truck with brand new tires. It'd be a great thing to drive home, you know, buy a trailer on the way home and tow something home. Um, if you do come to Tucson to drive it home, you will pay the following. You will pay your state tax rate, whatever that is, plus our city tax of 2.6% and a $250 dock fee. If you pay uh, by wire and ship out of state, all you're going to pay is agreed upon price. There'll be no tax, no dock fee, nothing. Uh, once we receive full payment, we will fill out the title with your name um, or your company's name and address. We will uh, sign it off to you. We will scan it in your online file and we will mail it to you. We even scan in the envelope we mail it in, okay? Uh, everything's up front with us as, as we go immediately, okay? Um, you'll have it shipped to your home or your business. Um, obviously, the title will be there before the uh, truck. Once the truck shows up by your shipper, you'll just take the title and the truck to motor vehicles and get plates. Very simple. If you need help with shipping, let us know early in the process. Joey is in charge of shipping for us. He brings all our vehicles in. He helps people get them out. If you need the uh, shipping rolled into your uh, loan or uh, into your payment, uh, he can do that. He can help with that. Uh, or even if you just need advice on who to pick and if you want to ship it yourself and handle it yourself, um, he can help you. Okay. Uh, deposit is $500. Once we have your deposit, we have a deal. Until then, it will stay for sale. Please make sure you get your deposit in quickly. Um, we're pretty busy right now. Really nice trucks like this are kind of going quickly. Uh, so the really clean ones uh, like this are super fast. Um, last part of every video, I say the same thing in every single video. I encourage you to verify that by watching any of the thousands I've done. There's probably 40 or 50 uh, on our website right now that are current, but there's thousands out there. Uh, I'm not singling this truck out. It's what I say on everything we've ever sold. We don't have salesmen. We don't have bottled water with our name on it. We don't have uh, a lounge to hang out in. We don't have a game room. We don't have scones and an attendant. We don't have a fancy zip code. You just saw where we were. We got a muddy front yard and lots of vehicles stacked in there. Um, they got all that stuff at the auto mall. They pay for a zip code. They pay for attendance and scones and lattes and bottled water and salesmen. We don't pay for any of that, so you're not. So that's why our prices are lower. Um, also, they know that when they sell you a vehicle and it breaks, you're gonna come in and want them to fix it. Um, so you pay for that. So there's a fifth thing that's included in the price of the vehicle when you buy it from them. That's not included in our price either because we're making you the owner on day one. We give you these videos, the repairs we've done, the things we know about, so that you can make a good decision, okay? So that you can make an informed, good decision uh, and be the owner on day one. If you think that you're gonna be mad because the day you got it, a window didn't decided not to work or an injector decided not to work or the radio decided to take a crap, um, then you shouldn't buy anything from us because we're not gonna write you a check and we're not gonna listen to the crying, okay? We give you these videos, long video, Carfax, Kelly, Title, everything we know so that you can be the owner on day one. And, and because we don't have to pay for any of that crap that they do, it's a lot cheaper. So you've saved a bunch of money. If you have to make a repair, make it out of the money you saved and you're still gonna be up a fortune, all right? Um, like I said, uh, we, we make sure that everybody knows the rules and if the rules don't work for you, no harm, no foul, we ain't got anything for you. We got lots of vehicles, but nothing for you, okay? Um, anyway, this thing, the, this road, by the way, is horrific. They were just filling potholes a minute ago, the city was, and obviously not all of them. Look at that thing. God, they were just here. They, they filled that one, but they walked, they went right by the one I just showed you. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, pay high taxes, that's what you get. Um, anyway, I'm going to part this thing now for Dennis. Uh, obviously, we are very full right now. We're selling cars fast right now, so it won't last long. But when we get like this, where we're really full, he gets a little uh, anxious and he sells things cheap. So take advantage of that. Thank you for your time.